Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed on this terrific Tuesday. I am doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, and love and light to you and many blessings are yet to come and thank you for the love and support. And if you could please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, please give me a thumbs up or even drop me a line. I love the positive feedback. And if you are a returning sub, thanks fam for the support and love and light and many blessings to you and namaste as well. And many blessings are yet to come. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Is anybody else in the retrograde funk? I mean, Mercury Retrograde Funk. Um, today, I'm listening to the instrumental of Alicia Keys' Superwoman, because I feel like I'm doing everything out above and beyond, okay? And I've really been dealing with Alicia Keys for the last two days. Um, the, the Mercury Retrograde is, is just like basically Mercury dealing with all the planets. And um, it seems to be flowing at nighttime backwards. So, guys, when I, if you have seen my previous videos before, like in dream interpretation, like last night I had a dream about me being in this, um, uh, what is it, um, like I was trying to escape from this, like, Mad Max, a th Thunderdome type prison. Like, I was like, what the heck? Well, <laughs> why am I dreaming about things? You know, even dreaming about people that I have not really seriously dealt with in years. And I'm like, why are they coming back? They are not irrelevant in my life anymore. So why are they coming back and making cameo spots in my dream? So when I start reading up on this, it basically is about your past coming back to have you reflect on everything new, which might cause frustration, confusion, and possible delay. <laughs> possible delay on things. So if you having really crazy dreams and you feel like you're in a funk, that is the reason why. So, so some of these things that I've written down, so excuse me if you see me look away a little bit, because it's just like, I was just like, oh my goodness. Um, okay. So it is just basically with the with the zodiac, it's like an illusion, and it, it's called a parent retrograde motion. So it's just like it's gonna be some you have to might deal with uh, people that are angry, or there might be a miscommunication on things. You know, you might get frustrated and stuff like that. So when the retrograde comes around, it's like January first through the ninth, April 9th through May third. August 13th to September 5th and December 3rd to the 23rd and then it comes back again like a couple of months later like in March sometime but they said um when you're going through this avoid signing any kind of contract so if you really do not need to sign any contracts just kind of delay them for like a week or two um they said don't make any really hardcore decisions at this time because they might not go as planned. And I've noticed that. <laughs> if you have any plans that you think you about to have, it's going to go out. It's going to delay a little bit or be a little bit drawn out more than it usually is supposed to. But when you start having all this confusions and all these mixed feelings and your past seems to like make you go backwards. Because there's sometimes I even think about the time when my dad got snatched from me from DFS and I'm just like and tears start flowing and I'm like why the hell would I be wanting to think about stuff like that so it's just like because I thought I was over it and then it comes back and I don't know if it's his feelings that are coming into me and I feel you know a little sensitive and I, I mean it's like lately I've been crying at the drop of a hat I can't even watch a Christmas commercial dealing with people's families without me crying I see a DNA commercial I start crying and I'm just like oh my goodness you know, it's just a lot to deal with. So it's just like when you're going through these things, you know, I can't tell you exactly what day it falls on with you because it depends on your zodiac time. So um, it's just like when you're going through these things and you seem to be going through your past and you're repeating, it's like you're repeating stuff like that. It's because of the mercury retrograde funk. <laughs> That's why I call it the mercury retrograde funk that is really just aggravating the heck out of me. So it's just like when you when you can just relax, you know, if you're having issues with family or a job or anything, just sit 
you know, basically try to see what you can fix, do to fix that. But don't hover over it too much. You know, if you can't fix it, you know, just step back a little bit and just take a breather. And you just see, if, you know, like within a couple of days to see if you can go back and try to start your steps all over again. So if you're going through these things, guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I, I didn't know if anybody else was going through them. So it, it's just like if you're going through some things, like having some real, real crazy dreams, it's just like, huh? Like, why is this happening? Why is this? Because it's like between me having apocalyptic dreams, that's basically telling me, you know, everything that, you know, I went through is, is about to come to a positive ending. So I'm just hoping and praying. Hoping and praying everything comes out all right, but I already know it will be. But it's just a little period that we have to go through with the orbits and stuff like that with other planets. So I'm not trying to hold you up today, and I'm just going to be meditating today so I can go ahead and release whatever little funky stuff is going on up in there because I'm tired of having them crazy dreams in the middle of the night. Just have me all, you know, jumping up like that. So. Guys, I hope I haven't hold you up today, and you know, I hope that clarifies some of the things you might be going through right now, and um, just, if you can, do a lot of meditation, if you can, you know, clear your blockages, which I'm about to do today, and, you know, light some, you know, white candles or whatever, if you, you feel free to that, and hopefully everything will be better, so hopefully that will help you guys out, so I will talk to you later. And if you can, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you resonate with this video, please send me a comment. Drop me a couple of lines on some positive comments. Like I said, I love, I love positive feedback. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild. Guys, I forgot to tell you, two weeks before your retrograde goes up, so make sure you look at your zodiac sign with anything that you have that is very, like, make sure your, your plans, anything that you have delayed on your plans or unfinished projects, make sure they are done before two weeks, one to two weeks prior of the ending of the retrograde when it's direct. So whatever you do, just make sure you look at your zodiac sign and try to go ahead and res see if that resonates with you on anything that you might be going through. So now I'm done. So I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.